fight that jumped out off the card at me when I seen this. We've got Andrea Chiduco. Binder taking on Ian Gary. This two of the best. I'm so excited about this fight. I don't know what to do with my hands. Your referee in charge is Aiden Marin. These two gentlemen, black belt judo, judo practitioners, both come from boxing, kickboxing backgrounds. Expect potential fight of the year for get fight of the night. Just a real buzz about these two fighters, both young in their career, but I don't think you could even call them prospects now. They're firmly cemented in the welterweight division and landscape of Irish MMA at, at uh, the amateur level. At the moment, it's just been there, just controlling the centre. Both fighters, this will show you the respect they both have for each other. Gary just trying to paw in with a jab. Binder just trying to find a range with a kick. Yeah, both men trying to work each other out right now. Changing levels, throwing feints. Very calm approach adopted. It's crazy to think that you've been there, this is his 10th amateur fight and this is only Ian Gary's third amateur fight, the hype behind him. Well, it comes from a great camp, he has wonderful training partners around him, you can see Chris Fields there in his corner. And again, you can just see both fighters again testing the range, exchanging leg kicks. Quick leg kick there from Ian Gary. Bender now taking the centre of the octagon. And you can see Binder just trying to step away, left hook there to try and counter on Gary. Lands a good leg kick and you can start to see the, the right leg of... Big sorry, overhand from Binder. The left leg of Gary just starting to welt just a small bit. In the clinch, that's that judo. Big judo throw by Binder. Butterfly hooks here from Ian Gary, may look to elevate and sweep. And expect the experience here of Andres Binder to play part, he's not going to rush anything here. Very calm in the cage is Ian Gary. Binder just looking to pull Gary away from the cage. Gary landing some good shots from the bottom. They're heavy strikes now. They are heavy, heavy shots and they're perfectly legal. Binder is he's gotta get his head into a better position there. He Gary does. grabs a rest, maybe looking to wall walk up off the cage. Heavy and strikes now being landed by Andreas. Andreas just making Gary pay for some of them shots he landed. Potential here for a judo throw. <laughs> Lovely switch from Ian Gary. Both fighters, their core strength here as, as being judo fighters will be insane. Good knee to the body. And again, you can see both fighters are almost trying to say move on each other here. They're contemplating taking each other for a ride. Another switch from Andreas, then Gary again. And the corner of Binner just calling for a change of levels to drop down. But Gary just using that knee shield across the legs of Binder to stop that as well. Good takedown from Andreas. You gotta be careful, these long limbs as well of Ian Gary. He's gotta watch the triangles and arm bars, but Binder right in front of us here, just as we say it, he's looking for an arm, the triangle. He's underhooked the leg, he's switched the position. Time goes against them, but an excellent opening round. Big Jaduko throw in the first round by Binder. Gary walks back to his, his corner, dancing. As you've seen from the start of that fight, both men obviously have a lot of respect for each other's abilities there. Took us a little while to get into the fight, find our groove. But once we did, we've seen the judo game of both men. Switching positions, landing on the ground. Ian Gary finishes strong with a potential triangle. That's going to set him up nicely for the confidence going into the second round. And both these fighters as well, of course. The main event this evening is a welterweight title bout, so both fighters will have their eye on that strap as well. Yeah, the winner of this fight, real title implications, hasn't it, though? 
Again, Bender takes the center of the cage. Ian Gary working from the outside. Nice inside leg kick, but a big oh, right hand by Ian one, Gary. Two. And again. And the judo for Ian Gary this time. Big takedown from Andreas. Excellent exchange by both fighters here. Gary landed a successful long jab with the right hand follow, but Andreas Binder with the judo throw and now in the knee and belly position on Gary. May use that just to control right now. Real close fight so far. I think Binder, surprise may not be the right word here, but he's coming in against a high, highly touted prospect and talented Gary. So I think he's, he sees this as an opportunity to go, look, I'm in this game longer. I'm going to show you why and display that tonight. So I think he's got a little bit of a chip on his shoulder, Andreas Binder, coming into this one against it. Yeah, it's, a, Gary. it's an opportunity to, to, to steal someone's momentum, make that yours. Make your name off their scalp. But Gary here now in this position, the first round, you can argue the takedowns by Binder. You could be scoring the first round of Binder. So Gary no, knows he's, he's got to improve this position. He's got to get up out of here. The judges are looking at Binder in top position. The fight's taking place where he wants it here, Phil. So Gary's going to try and cage walk here. He's doing the right thing. He's stuffing the head and working his way up. Has a Kimura grip. May use that to spin out. Big takedown take from Andreas. Beautiful work by Andreas Binder. But uh, Ian Gary holds on to that Kimura grip. May look to set through here. Another big takedown perhaps. Big takedown again from Andreas. Ian Gary begrudgingly nods ahead as if to say, yeah, fair enough. Binder, you can see him, he's being controlled here. He's, he's letting Gary do certain things. Gary uses that to sweep now. That Kamara grip you're on about, Phil. Beautiful work by Ian Gary. Ian Gary in, in the close guard of Andreas here. Will look to posture and land heavy strikes. He's got to give payback here. He knows he's behind in this round. So Gary knows he's going to have to get the judges on side here. Binder just looking for some wrist control on the bottom while Gary sits into half guard. Good posture and strike from this position. Andreas with a tight grip. Big strikes from Ian Gary. The dark choke. The there FBG it is. special. It in. So quick to snatch the neck there. Good defense so far by Binder, but it is under the chin by the looks of it, Phil, where we are. The second clapper goes against him. Andreas looks like he's able to stick in there until the end of the round. Wow, fantastic fight so far. Both guys having moments in that fight. And Very difficult to score, man. The end of both rounds, Ian Gary was in on submissions, but before that binner, he's wearing a little on his face. He's blood coming from the nose and a cut above the eye. Well, there was a stiff one-two landed at the very start of that round for Ian Gary. And that was what prompted the clinch. That was what prompted the display of ground from Andres. Once more onto the breach. You turn around and this Highly touted welterweight division. A touch of gloves and Binder and Gary. Binder in the black shorts, Gary in the white. Again, that respect shown. And Binder, I'm sure he's seen the footage. I'm sure he's seen the knockout here at Clan Wars 29 that Ian Gary delivered. Good head movement there. Just sneaked out of the way of that strike from Andres. Oh, lovely Big lead right on the and Binner tries to close the distance. Needs to hit and may go for the judo throw of, him, of his own here. And Gary just landed punishing Hurfel shots in the inside. May look to knee the thighs here of Andreas. A little short shots here. Again, maybe looking to set up the judo throw. He's looking for the inside trip there. Good knee to the body from Andreas. Separation. This could be good for Gary. He's had success on the feet. He's got to not rush it. That beautiful oh, right hand. Binder wears it well. See, Andreas is working well when, when Ian Guy starts to get into the, the ascendancy with those strikes, he closes the distance well and, and clenches. Good fight management by Binder. Yeah, very good. Has the double unders here, may look to trip. Right in front of us here. Big battle here for position. You can see Binder, he wants to stay in tight. He knows, he feels he may have the advantage in this position. Ian Gary may wish to separate the land of strikes. Left 
And they are beautiful little dirty shots in there. Yeah, he's, he's still scoring with those shots and he's still able to generate power from that short space. It really has turned into a clinch battle here in the third round. But neither man rested on the laurels here. This one is a tough one, Phil, there, because they are battling for position. You might think that Gary is doing the most work in this. He's the one peppering the shots that have been there. Separation, I think, is wanted by Gary. You can see he's trying to just push off and maybe get that separation to allow him to land the strikes. But And when he does create even the tiniest bit of space, he is landing with strikes, whether it be a knee to the body or these pot shots that he's landing on Andres. Andres, don't go control. Is it? It's Gary pushing him up against the cage, but Binner's good defense work as well, not allowing the takedown or... Andreas thought about the head arm throw. He's got to be careful at the back there, Andreas. Gary almost snuck around. Two big young men throwing it, weight at each other in here. This is an exhausting fight, and Gary again, I'm really liking that dirty boxing he's working there. Look how he's using that knee sheath to create a little bit of separation. May look to grab an ankle. That again, landing these shots. We can hear these shots. Ten seconds left. Both men continuing the work into the final stands of the fight here. Big knee by Gary on his side, just landing on the cup. The time goes, and I have a feeling one man is going to be disappointed here because the judges, what way are they going to see this? Yeah, fantastic fight here. You look at Binder had success with the judo throws in the opening round, got the takedown in the second round, but you can see the round's finished with Ian Gary going for submission, so in the second round, Gary was landing big shots on top, was looking for the finish, so it's an interesting one. We're not making the decision, let's go to our judges' scorecards, Phil. And if we're going off the scoring criteria as well, if we look at who's wearing the damage of the fight as well, that could be a telling story in the eyes of the judges. Regardless, a fantastic fight. Judge number one has scored is 38-29, Gary. Judge number two has scored is 29-28, Binder. And judge number three has scored is 29-28 for your winner by split decision. Final